My name is David Montesano, and we're going to be discussing improving your transfer admission outlook, getting off the wait list today. It's really important. I want to go back to your competitive advantage again. This is really how you get off the wait list and how you get in and all that stuff is really to look at your academic um, competitive advantage first and foremost. Certainly look at any leadership stuff that's also academic and then just pure leadership after that. Look at athletic, you know, ways of getting into if you can be recruited, recruitable uh, at a school for a particular sport. But don't put athletics on, on your application assuming that that's going to help you get in. It won't unless there's a coach relationship that's already been built, okay? Um, the college's unmet needs, really look in, at, at those closely, okay? And, you know, what are they? Just, you know, look at, figure it out. Um, you know, look and see what a school really needs by what their weaknesses are. Okay, and you want to sell to those weaknesses. And once you figured out all this stuff, what you know, how you're different, how you're you know unique versus other people, um, what the college's unmet needs are, then you can start to do the marketing process. Okay, and that's what I call the wait list response letter. Okay, so here's an example of one. Uh, you can write something like this. This is for Tufts. Um, you know, thank you for extending me a position on your transfer wait list. Tufts is without a doubt my top choice school. I'm interested in international relations, excited by a variety of courses offered within the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy. This is just an example one, by the way. Um, but what I wanted to say with this is that this person, if you look at it, they say, I'd like to you know, update you on some of my accomplishments since submitting my application below is a complete list of my accomplishments. Um, you know, and this person got excellent paper from Reality into Absurdity, the Martyr Figure in Camus and Gagal, AP English uh, in, in the high school that they go to. Um, they also got uh, a 95% on the national Spanish exam. So these are things that they recently did since they applied. You want to update them on things you've done or something that's just so profoundly high level. So like something that's national, like the national Latin, ex I'm sorry, national Spanish exam is national. And even if you do well in the SAT, that's national, right? So and think about anything that you've done that's national, that's academic at all. And I would definitely put it on this list up at the top. Okay, so national things first then state level, then local, then, you know, then your high school, college level. Um, so this person, you know, ended up doing a lot of stuff, it looks like, right? They, um, they dedicated their senior project to learning more about pediatric oncology to help their nonprofit, um, their nonprofit, Alicante, support children with cancer in Argentina. I mean, these are all things that, you know, I mean, probably need more explaining, but just to kind of give you an idea, you know, and then and then you go through all this, and then at the end they, they wrote a positioning statement, right? They said, someone who thrives on creative thinking and an in-depth analysis, I'd like to devote time to explore my love for languages and the arts as well as my thirst for logic and pragmatic solutions. I'm passionate about gaining insight into different countries and cultures and, and creating this global perspective. And, uh, you know, I'm Latino, they threw that in there. So that's important too, you know, you want to pretty much make that, maybe even a bullet item if you're, you know, among the top, Latino scholars at your college, that might be something you'd want to put higher level. Anyway, just to kind of give you an idea, this is not the world's best letter, but it's something that can certainly, um, you know, help, help you uh, get ahead um, of the pack, really. So if you take the time to write this letter, now what I would say, this person said, thank you for, you know, you know, I think I'll contribute well to this class and, and and uh, at Tufts and, and the diversity there, and, and thank you for considering me. I would, if I were you, at a private school, well, actually any school, I would put here, thank you. I would say first, you know, this is my top choice school, and if accepted, I will attend. Because again, that lowers the risk for them to accept you. You saw how many people took the offer, you know, I mean, only 27% at UCSD even went to the wait list, and then, you know, the even if they, they have to, and then that other, it was at UC Santa Barbara, had to accept 56% probably to get just a small number to show up. So they can accept fewer people. They can look more selective if you tell them things like this and you prove to them that you're really going to go to the school and accept their offer. Then they're, they're more likely to take you. It just makes sense. Um, it's better for them. Okay, they're, they're, that's kind of how it works. All right. Um, if you have any other admission, uh, sorry, let me, let me answer one more question here before we, or any others that you might have, okay, um, before we um, get uh, along too far here. Okay, so somebody wanted a copy of the wait, sample waitlist letter. 
Um, we do, I'm trying to think, where can I give that to you? You can certainly email me and I can send something like that to you. Um, also, you can sign up for Unifluence.com, which is a, a service that helps people go through the process that we just talked about, kind of the, the whole positioning process. And there are tools in, and, in that, that that help you. Um, and certainly, if you um, want to, you can go to my website and email me. Uh, my name is David at CollegeMatchUS.com is my email address. And um, you know, if I'm if I'm able to, I, I, I will send you um, that information. Okay. Thank, and let me if, let me just see if there's any other questions before we wrap up here. You've been a great audience. I appreciate your time and patience too, as we start a little bit later today. Um, okay, doesn't look like it. Any other questions? I'll give I'll give somebody one more chance here if there are any others. Um, kind of last minute ones. If it doesn't look like you've been a great audience, and I wanted to say thank you so much for your time and um, best of luck to you as in transfer. I know you can you can get off that wait list. So just focus on some of the principles we talked about today, and you'll be very successful. I think. All right. Take care. Thanks.